<laughs> Pediatrics always interested me because I wanted to do something that not only was interesting, but that I could have fun doing. You can still play with toys and get down to a child's level. And, you know, we dress up in costumes during Halloween. And, and so it's not just taking care of the patient uh, from an intellectual standpoint, but it's really trying to keep them comfortable. And that's something that really interested me. <laughs> There's no heart there. My job as an endocrinologist is to uh, treat all various types of hormone disorders. So whether that's thyroid disorders, adrenal disorders, or things like diabetes, uh, that's why kids will come to uh, see me in the office. The treatment for diabetes now is much different than it was even 10 or 20 years ago. And kids are really able to do pretty much what they were doing prior to their diagnosis. <laughs> We're also trying to build a Center for Transgender Health, which is uh, something that is not offered at all programs. I had a patient who, who came to me who was not able to seek care anywhere else and asked, you know, would I treat her? And I was honest with them and said, I've never done this before, but sure, I'd be willing to, to treat you. And as I've been seeing more and more patients, I've really learned, you know, this is a vulnerable, underrepresented uh, population of kids and teenagers who uh, really deserve the same medical care as anybody else. One of the things that I've always enjoyed about pediatrics in general is the ability to follow kids potentially from birth until early adulthood. And, and when I see a patient who I've been following for years, who's doing great, that, I love that, that's a thrill for me. I just want patients to, to know that both as a division and as their doctor, I'm there for them and, and if they have even the smallest concern about their child, they can reach out to me.